Hey everybody, this is Chris. I want to give a special shout out to the people that ended up suggesting a lot of Halloween videos of what to do for my spooky special. So we got the list right here. Special thanks to Jacinda Davis. We got Melissa Elizabeth Shaw, Kevin Meshes, Kevin Ma mm, mm. Kevin, Nero Aldezio, Strife, Persephone, Audubon, Shakespeare, Fangori, Slash, Joseph. I also want to give a special shout out to my sister who has officially reached 1,200 followers on her Facebook, Rogue Harley. So that's facebook.com slash Rogue Harley. Link is in the description. But anywho, that's enough of me talking. Straight to the video. Happy Halloween, everybody. And thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to the spooky special of Sorcerer Chris. I'm yours truly, and we're gonna play Goosebumps. This is basically, apparently, according to the whole entire description, it's the prequel to the whole movie event that was gonna happen of the release of it. But, from my memory, it was based on the reading books by R.L. Stein. I didn't read many of the Goosebump books before, but I ended up recognizing most of the titles because my sister ended up collecting them. Personally, my favorite types of stories is Reader Beware, You Choose This Scare, when Goosebumps try to do a bit of a choose-your-own-adventure type of story. But anywho, let's dive in for the spooky special of Goosebumps. File select. Yeah. Name your character? Oh, um... Didn't realize I had to pick a name. Um... I'll call myself... My dude. <laughs> there. And of course, I'm male. Alright. Diving in. This guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. I've heard that before. Whatever. Just finished packing up this junk. I'll head back up for the rest. Oh, wow. This actually is pretty good. Who hires a moving company to move out in the middle of the night anyway? Just be glad someone did. We needed the job. Him. So how about that girl? Should I call her the toll booth operator? You ain't got the chance. <laughs> yeah, it's probably best anyway. We'll whiff our on the road thing. Okay, so obviously these guys are delivering something. Someone creeped out. What you mean? I don't know. What do you mean what I mean? Well, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep. Somebody's got to slink out of the shadows. This better not be about that haunted car again. It's real. I told you it's real. Real, maybe? We're not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at the time. You can't scare me with that story. I already heard it a million times. Well, good. That's not even my hairiest adventure. Ha ha ha. Evil genie. Heard that one. Okay, well. Zombies? Eh, I guess I told you a lot of these. I see what you did there with the freaking Harry's adventure. Wait, what? What was that? I don't know. So, you gonna open it? I ain't open it. You're the one with all the scary adventures. But there's so much weird stuff here. You saw it. Just open the door already. Open sesame! There's nothing in here. Just a lot of different types of uh, artifacts and stuff. How did they even get the freaking esophagus? Not funny. Oh, there's someone there. Where? What is it? Some kid? No. All that ain't no dang kid. <laughs> hey, it's everybody's favorite guy, Slappy, from the uh, Goose. Ah! That actually scared me. That actually scared me. Yeah. Oh boy, the next day. We're in for a sto- Oh, finally. School's out for the day, and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad, though. Was it supposed to rain today? Okay, so basically it's a point-and-click mystery adventure. This is actually pretty good. I can do this. I mean, kind of reminds me of a certain other game I end up playing. No. 
I'm not going to mention a name. But for those of you that know me personally, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, frick you, Monaco. Anywho, you go check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? Mm -hmm. Let's move. There's no chance you're leaving school without your cell phone. Oh. Alright, we're going into school. You used to call me on my cell phone. We're in the locker room, and that one's damaged right there. Gee, I wonder, which one is 402? Oh, wait, it's actually that one. I thought it was the busted up one because, you know, like, knowing some Goosebump stories, I thought I had to deal with bullies or something like that. All right, 402. Let's look inside. Let me guess. Locker key? Yeah. Um, there's my cell phone. I'll take that. Grab your phone. Bet you got the desk. You're afraid you lost it. After a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yep, still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. Play. Hi, my dude. It's mom. <laughs> I'm glad I picked this name. Just wanted to let you know. I'll be home later on tonight. The clients want uh, to take us to dinner. Dad should be home pretty soon, so you two will need to fend for yourselves. Yes, fight for survival. <laughs> Remember, the key's under the back steps. Love you. And I just got the achievement. Calling all creeps. Anything else here? Stickers. Brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. Stick carefully. Mm. Okay, I guess that's about it. Slam the locker shut. Alright. Let's call let's call me mum. Hello, mum. <sighs> Hi my dude, did you get in my message? Be careful on your way home. You know I don't like you cutting through the woods, but at some point a mother has to let you go. Love you. She seems very nonchalant about that. <laughs> Alright, who else can I call? My bro. You dial your brother's number. Just a busy signal. Um map. Wow. That's a great map. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. To the parking lot. Oof. Ugh, dumpsters seem better. Ugh, ugh. School parking lot is nearly empty as most of the school's gone home. You faintly hear the football team practicing in the distance, though. I'm a Barbie girl. I'm in a Barbie world. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, um... Do I have to? That slime is not normal. Your mind races with thoughts of alien invasion or zombie drool. What could it be? It must have some courage to go in for a closer look. Oh, it's just someone's old milkshake. Really? Really old milkshake. You know, that's a lot of... I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty much a lot of slime to be considered just one old milkshake. What kind of size was it? Like, extra large or something? It's like, dripping all over the thing. How did it even get there? If it was a cup, like, if it was legitly a cup, and it ended up going into a dumpster, it would just be like a small cup. I don't get it. Anywho, um, oh, okay, uh, left. Into the woods. The place where, clearly, my mom said not to go to. The familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. Oh, look at this. Looks like somebody lost their dog. Poor kid. Is that it? Okay. Let's go. Cross the bridge and head deeper into the wood. This is definitely like a point click. It. Oh. Um. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Can I help you? Okay. Um. I'm actually gonna turn down the volume a bit. Hey. You start to ask the man if he's lost, but he grunts at you unintelligently. More trees. Like Chad always says, a tree is a tree, except the really cool tree down the path from here. I'm gonna go. But he spins on you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, I guess we're reach. I guess I'm dead. Wow. Whoa. That actually scared me again. Yeah, no. Yeah. Freak that. Back towards the school. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. All right. Um. Let's go to the janitor's shed. It's more overgrown than you expected. Ah, uh, by the time you reach the shed, <laughs> the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. Open! Ah, uh, pad door shut. Look, we kill her. Can I... Maybe? Alright. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Is there anything else I can take? What's the point of a shed if he's gonna leave all the tools outside? Good question. Alright. Huh. <sighs> okay. Let's try. Alright, alright. Oh, don't forget to save. Um. How do I. Huh. Alright. I gotta. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go into the woods again and deal with that man. This time I got a weak killer. Let's see if we can actually uh, take him on. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? There he is. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Look. There you go. Something off them. You notice his hair is green, kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling out of his clothes. Okay. Yeah. Take that. Mm. How do you like that, T-H-A-T? He recoils violently as it hits his face. Smoke rises from the woods and he smells something like freshly cut grass. He retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down and cowering. Alright. I think we're good. Whew. Ah, the breath of fresh air. Uneven dirt. Okay, I'm gonna look. Wait, this isn't from the roots. This dirt's been disturbed recently. Probably should go back. Turn and head back. That guy's still cowering. Let's go, uh, left. This crunch tells you you walk the path. Oh, hey, kids. <laughs> this is the end of the woods. You can get to your neighborhood just up that hill. Looks like there's some kind of commotion near the tunnel. So, what do you want to do? You want to head home? Or you want to check? It's exploration time. Wait, can I talk? Okay. Tyler Aslett just glares at you. Mind your own business, my dude. Well, fine, you know what? I'm just gonna actually go look in. The tunnel's actually a large drain pipe. The water inside stinks like old socks. Hang on. Let me save just in case. Okay, so the good news is, by the looks of it, I don't have any lives. If I make a mistake and die, I can go back and try again and see if I miss any items that can help me, like that one weed guy. Well... Let's go into the tunnel. Yeah, there's no way I'm going in that crowd. Alright, let's go home. My good old neighborhood. Almost home. You think as you step into the neighborhood, your spirits fall immediately when you notice an accident down the street. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Hmm. Back is open. Box is spilling out of the street. That's well. You peer inside a van and see a ton of boxes along with odds and ends. The crash didn't seem to damage anything. A sense of dread creeps up on the back of your neck. Like this canister? You opt to keep your distance. That glow doesn't bode well. Huh. You don't really see much anymore. It's a globe. Map of the Earth. Looks really authentic. Thin layer of dust covers it all over. Struggle with the handle, but it won't budge. You do manage to kick a, up a cloud of dust. Shrunken head. One of those shrunken heads with weird olive skin, wispy hair, and high cheekbones. Its eyes and mouth are sewn shut. Well, doesn't look like there's much here. 
You feel like you shouldn't be here and decide to creep away. Surprised people don't seem to be concerned about the accident. Idyllic track homes line the street. You assume a happy nuclear family lives in each one. Well, okay. What? No. No, no, back. No, go back, go back. I'm in. Yeah. Mm hmm. And go now. Hurry down the hill, back into the woods. Oh! Hey, look, it's a bunny. Wait a second. <laughs> I've seen enough Monty Python to know where this is going. Far in the woods, the creek flows in a huge drain pipe tunnel. Okie dokie. Hey look. It's a small white rabbit. His fur is unkempt and he seems wary of you. Let's pat it. <laughs> Flash of white, the rabbit disappears into the brush. Well, oh well. Well, where else am I supposed to go? I guess we're going into the tunnel, since, you know... <sighs> oh! Huh. Yeah, this doesn't look nice. Creep into the tunnel, an unnatural darkness closing in around you halfway through. You wonder if you'll make it. You peer into the darkness. Far in the distance, you hear a sound like the ocean. Why would I want to go into the ocean? Jump! With a running start, you dive into the big black hole. You fall for what seems like hours. Falling, falling, this might have been a mistake. <laughs> it is a rabbit. Okay, save. Alright. Stop. Hey there, little fella. Hmm, <laughs> says the rabbit to your surprise. I thought those brutes would never leave. Oh. Mm-hmm. Went through the pipe tunnel. There's nothing in there. Mm. Sorry. I'm eating a, a peppermint. Yeah, and there's the hole that ends up leading to death. Nothing. Next. Oh. Okay. I guess it was the other end of the pipe. This wash runs behind many of the houses on your street. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk that people don't hear. Mm. How could a chimney even get here? Oh, take the shoe! <laughs> okay, here's like a, uh, a like a late time pro tip right here. If there's like items that are takeable, they're probably important. Just take them. Deciding it's better in your hands than out of the elements. Yeah. Deep pool. The water here seems to extend forever. You squint, but still can't see the bottom of the pool. Getting down on your knees, you put one arm into the pool of water. Its icy chill clings to your skin as you reach for it down. The water rises past your elbow, still haven't hit bottom. You take a deep breath and press on, reaching down, down. The water laps against your shoulder. Reach left and right, can't feel anything but water. You start to imagine a hand gripping your wrist and yanking it down beneath the cold surface. How about no? It's almost real. The sensation of bony fingers wrapping around you, tightening, the pull crushing towards your face. You take a desperate breath and hold it, clench your eyes shut. Moments later you realize it's your imagination. You gasp and pull your arm out, soaked but unharmed. Look around and make sure nobody saw that. Coast seems clear. Wow. Who's this? Okay. Guess we're going forward. Hop across the rocks, fall, stroll into your neighborhood. Woo! <laughs> ah, Jesus! Ah! <sighs> Take several large gas and try to calm down. That dog attacked as soon as you entered your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on the leash. Down boy! A girl! <laughs> um, hi! You nervously stammer hello to the woman who turns a uh, disinterested eye in your direction. Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite a fright. What about the dog? Huh? Oh no, I'm okay. What breed of dog is she anyway? Poodle and something else? Fifi? 
Yes, she's a very rare subbreed of poodle, one prone to temperament problems. What kind of problems? Is she dangerous? Goodness no, not to you, not at this moment. But who could say for certain? A dog can escape its leash, for example. Do take care. The pair continued her walk down the street. Um, we're not going to ask about the whole creepy foreboding house like on the right side? No? Okay. Definitely on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lives here used to babysit you. Oh, that classic thing. Alright, um, I guess, right? What used to be your house? Wait, what used- this used to be your house? <laughs> what the heck, my dude? <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> oh my god. The large house reaches up towards the ominous sky. It's twisted windows, portals to madness. This is your address, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Do I really gotta? Is there anything else I should see or? All right, here we go. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You may as well try your house key just in case. Uh, this is this is my locker key. That isn't your locker. Well, uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to do that? But things don't look quite as how you left it. For example, there's an enormous creepy mansion where your house should be. Uh, creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. Ooh, goody. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. A peaceful, quiet blanket the enclosure. Uh, Oh, toy dino, take. It might be useful later. Take. The toy truck, take. <laughs> okay, shovel. Can I take it? Take it. I don't care. Cool, page two. <laughs> Swing. You, gid you giddily run up and jump into the tire. As it flies forward and you lean back, you close your eyes and can't help but shout. The moment passes and you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops, move in, and step away. Life is so much more complicated now. Can I open this door? This door should lead right into the laundry room, but it's locked. Unfortunately, this door takes a different key than the rest of your house. That's the grill. Get out of here. This is the Charmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Crouch down, lay your head on the porch for a better look. Oh, little can, little can. Hey! Take the key, take the key, take the key, key, key. <laughs> Alright. Well, in that case. Okay. Into the house we go. You turn the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. Safe! <laughs> Here we go. Hello? Oh, looks creepy. It's without a doubt not your house. Mom should never let the entry get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Can, can, can I go? Let's go. Uh, Whoa. The door stands stoically shut. You can feel a strange energy around it. Assume it's locked for time being. It's a dark. It's dark, but you think you can make out a dining room through the arched doorway. Let's go. Into the dining room. Who? Who? Who are you? <laughs> Step into the. Di Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> the way she's smiling right now. All right. Immediately knows a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hawk searching for prey. Toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, my dude. Come, give me a big kiss. I feel like I'm just gonna die regardless. But, just to be safe, I'll play along. You hesitantly walk to a woman, lean in to kiss her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice you can't quite describe. So you can't describe a certain type of 
like common spice like i don't know pe pepper or paprika or something like that but you know exactly what mothballs smell like specifically mothballs <laughs> that's better now you're on the the lie up or the glass of prune juice your favorite down the hatch oh do i gotta drink the prune juice uh, I gotta play along because I know if I decline, they might kill me. Uh, it smells thick. There we go. Hoping to finish as quickly as possible. Burns is slight. Suddenly, your muscles tighten. Exhaustion creeps over you, and your vision blurs. You feel older. Your shoulders hunch, and your chest sinks closer to the table. A raspiness grows in your lungs with every breath. You think it might be nice to take a nap just for a few minutes. As you close your eyes, you look up at Aunt Delilah. <laughs> She's laughing! She's laughing! It's game over! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> okay, there's the old crone. Talk. Okay, no give kiss. You aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Aw, is that any way to treat your Aunt Delilah? Sorry, Aunt Delilah. That's okay, child. Sit down and have some prune juice. Your loving aunt save for you. Decline! And no thanks, I'm not thirsty. Perfectly alright. Maybe later. Huh. Okay. Aunt, uh, aunt uh, Delilah uh, relaxes in her chair and rests her chin casually on her hand. Let's talk for a bit. How was school today? Eh, there's a lot going on, you know. This is gonna take a while. Well, there's this kid. Th oh wait. Oh, that's that's my that was my inner thought. Anywho, well, there's this kid Brandon in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You ramble on for several more minutes, and it's like, if that's how you feel, just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all that drama. <laughs> the deadline for picking clubs is uh, picking up in a few weeks, and I haven't made a decision. I'm not even sure if I want to be in a club. Sometimes I wonder. Anime club? Eh, a little bit of a double-edged blade there. I don't know. You get your good handful of, like, friends that you end up meeting that, like, maybe like the same anime you do. You know, it's like, that's nice. I made a new friend. But then there's the other types of students that might end up being cringy af, and you've already went down the rabbit hole with that one. <laughs> But anywho, you exhaust the topic of school activities and pause for breath, at which point you realize you haven't given Aunt Delilah room to comment for 10 minutes or so. Let her speak. Creating a natural point for the woman to jump in with comment. What do you think? Hmm. She trails off, I lost in her thought or fallen asleep. Let's wake up our minds with a little prune juice, then examine the situation. No thanks. You ignore her offer yet again and get back to your table. The teachers are no help either, which is hard to accept. You think? <laughs> huh? <laughs> is she sleeping? Your story is really interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. Aunt Delia is asleep. Snoring, in fact. You weigh your options. I feel like I should let her sleep. There's no telling how deeply she's sleeping. For you, the woman's uncomfortable gaze, you turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? Walk past the table into the next room. Oh! Who keeps a creepy picture of a clown? The den is where your family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. Oh look, ColecoVision! <laughs> you don't want to hang out in this version for too long though. Take! I don't know what this is. There's something deeply unsettling about the pictures hanging on the wall. Coffee table. Sturdy coffee table like this is great for doing homework while watching TV. Uh, let's use. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Take the remote, just in case. Just, you know, just, just in case. Just a matter of principle. <laughs> clock. You move in for a closer look at the look at the clock. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I may not have read enough Goosebump books, but there's like one type of story that may be similar. The hoo hoo clock of doom. The cl what kind of clock is this? These little tabs seem to mark different years. They demonstrate just how old this clock really is. 
Hey, let's find my birth year. Right here. Yeah. Huh. Save. Uh, I guess that's... Oh. Look. This door leads to a short hallway and into another room. Let's get on moving. Ugh. What is this? It's a laundry room! The laundry room is an oddly welcome sight. First glance, it appears exactly like you left it, other than an extra door. The dryer is running at the moment, and that must be the back door that leads to it. Open the dryer. Tug on the handle, but it won't budge. The basket's full of dirty clothes. I hope laundry wasn't your chore this week. Open the closet. Huh? You open the door eager to find out what this new room could be. What is in there? Alright, let's go. Going into... Huh? What? What's going on? What? The, the, the room of infinity. Film. Can I look at this? Film for a haunted camera. Its photos might predict the future. Um, was there something else floating? Well, hey, 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 yo! <laughs> um, where? Okay, um, maybe here? Don't. Oh, here? Don't. What about here? <laughs> Crossing forever to the next. Okay, here. Move. Drift away. Oh. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. I actually want to figure this out. Alright, how about this door? Don't. That door. Don't. What is this, freaking, um, grindhouse or something like that? Don't, 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 don't. You are thinking of seeing this film alone. Don't. If you want to watch this movie, don't. Well, I guess that's it then. What the heck was that all about? I never thought that Aunt Delilah here would be the only person that makes me feel safe. You know, except for the prune juice. <laughs> huh? What the? Three children materialize before your eyes, which are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. Ha! You try to get his attention and he looks towards you. I live here, you know. Well, I live here too. Yeah, Big Whoop, wanna fight about it? Probably won't work because my hand will end up phasing through, you know, like <laughs> Anyhow. I ain't going into the basement. He looks away, embarrassed. After a moment, he continues. You believe me, don't you? The boy mumbles quietly as you approach. I wanna hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll if I look, it'll wake mom and dad. No sooner do you look in her direction, then she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in. Go away, go away, go away. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born on a leap year. I know thanks. So, let's go upstairs <laughs> to the rooms under- ah! Sorry, it's just, um, you know, dark room. <laughs> a pirate. you never seen this portrait before. Looks like a creepy sea captain. Maybe it's grandpa before you were born. Probably not. Little girl, maybe? She looks a little old for the rest of the picture. Who picked these out? <laughs> You can't shake the feeling something is missing from this painting. Uh, what's that? Really hard. It's like I gotta adjust the brightness here. Oh, my, my brightness is actually good. All right. Into the first hallway, into the rabbit hole. I have to admit, for a haunted house day, I commend them for, I give them credit for nice wall designs. Look at this. This is like the haunted mansion designs, except they don't have eyes. <laughs> Seems reluctantly untouched. All right, let's go this door. 
Dad's study is locked, like it always is when he's out of town. The key should be around here somewhere. Check under the carpet? Mm, okay, what about here? Whoa! Okay, I'll go away. Okay. My room! No. Oh. Hmm. Familiar family photograph. Comforting. You always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking, but compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. Hmm. Huh. My phone. Alright, I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> call my mummy. Hi there, my dude. Make sure you check the mail. I'm expecting something for your father's birthday. Please take a look in the mailbox when you walk by. Thanks so much. Oh. Okie dokie. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, uh. Down. Downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so, I got ghost living. Wait, I actually forgot something. I didn't know there was, like, um. This hallway crosses over entryway downstairs, furthest reaches the house. Ochi gochi! You pass through the next room, dodging a bit of fallen plaster as you pass through the doorway. <sighs> Just a dead end. The hatch in the ceiling should lead to the attic. The attic door is too high to reach. You hear a dull grinding all around you as it comes from the walls. Well, we won't be able to find out because <laughs> I'm a getting out of here. <laughs> hmm. The records of your family's many adventures. Somehow, adventure always means hours in the car. All right, let's try this door. Big door. Whoop. You try pushing, you try pulling, but nothing. This door is being held shut. Hmm. What made this? <laughs> D. Uh, look. This railing is the only thing between you and a broken arm in the room below. Save. <laughs> Lean. Creek. Well, guess that's it. Into the kitchen. Oh! Mmm. Good. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually pretty hungry. The kitchen looks like a period piece from a time you want nothing to do with. You immediately notice a dripping sound. Mm. The, the sink? Ah, mm, that's some good iced tea. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint, it'll be hard to find it. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. Uh, the sink? Something shiny. Hmm. Yeah. There's no music going on here. Yeah. Feel the world away. Okay, let's open the fridge. Oh my god! It's the purple stuff from the Sunny D commercial! <gasps> I'm taking it. <laughs> You're certainly not gonna drink it. Uh, you find yourself taking the juice anyway. What about this? Jelly jam? Okay, let's take it. <laughs> okay, um, fridge. Yeah. All green. It's incredibly green. Open the dishwasher. Um, under sink? Oh. Take the sponge. J just in case. Okay, t we're taking the dish soap too. Yeah, taking the panel. Wooden panel's been hastily attached here. I wonder why they did that. The pipe leads to the sink down the sewer. Eventually it seems sturdy enough. Um, let's go back. Anything in the drawer? Ooh. Full drawer open. Talisman. Ta uh, take. <laughs> Maybe we can ward off some of this weirdness. Also save. This has been a good Halloween special. <laughs> Blender. Mom's been on a smoothie kick lately because they're easy to eat on the run. You can't think of the last time you made toast. Yet the toaster's right on the counter. Okay, I know, like... Hang on, let me look. Can I... 
Open this pantry. Ooh, what's this? Purple PB. I don't know what it is. Uh, take it. <laughs> okay, what's this drip? Okay. I see the dripping. Like, you said something shiny's down there, right? Peer into the drain, leading to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there, something shiny. Okay, do I have anything that'll fish it out? Time to call my mummy. Could you do me a favor, honey? I think I dropped something into the sink while rushing out of the house this morning. Please take a look for me, but do not stick your hands in a garbage disposal. It's dangerous. You should bend some wire or something to make a hook and fish it out. I know this sounds tedious, but I wanted to ask before if I got it. Okay, thanks, mwah. You see? I need to... I need to get something to fish it out. Um, you can go away from the clock, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. On to Lila, okay? Do you have anything that can uh, turn into a metal uh, hook or something? No? Okay. There's the kids. I don't know. I can't go that way. I don't know. I had to I had to <laughs> There was something else in here that I've forgotten. Look, this pipe is the only notable feature in the room. There are several rusted areas between better days. Hit it! Slam your closed fist in the pipe. Why do you punch things? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey, what's go? There's no doubt about it. The room is shrinking. Save. Hit it again. Uh oh. Um, probably best to head back out. Alright, maybe this top hat is yours. Look, see? <laughs> you go, no, wait, wait, You're, you you have like the attitude angle right there. Yeah, that could work. What about you? Oh, this is perfect. Hey, top of the morning to you. Here, hello, blonde boy. Okay, can't take it. He seems sad. Something about a shrunken head. Um. Hmm. All right, let's talk to him again. It's my favorite song. I want to listen to it, please. So obviously he wants something related to music. I don't got anything related to music, though. Hmm. Do I? No. And what about you? I've been living here for thirty years. It's not your house and stay out of my room, it's no boys allowed upstairs. Probably should have been a girl then. <laughs> this is my house, really. Prove you believe me. Prove you believe me. He seems insistent. You gotta believe me. Just don't make me go into the basement. I'm assuming... Okay, sir, I'm assuming something's in the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see you, old crone. Yeah. Is there anything? Ooh! You think it's some kind of video game console? It's older than you are, though. Wait, I want to play a game. Let's do a little gameception. Playing a console game while playing a PC game. Aren't there enough video games in life right now? <laughs> wow. Uh. What a way to hit it close to home. <laughs> I gotta get that shiny object. I really do. Let's see. What's today? Today's the 22nd. Hmm. Hmm. All right. You know what? For the first time ever for this Halloween special, we're going to have a two-parter. That's right. Because I, for one, for the life of me, cannot find the object. And not to mention this Halloween special. You know, let's keep it interesting because I'm actually intrigued on finding out what happens next. So the mission I gotta do is find an object to be able to bend into a hook in order to fish that thing out. And according to my phone, according to my map, there's these kids here. Can't go into that door. And then there's kitchen there and wait, an opening here. Hold up, hold, wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> there's none over there. Okay, well, anywho, 
According to the map, there's like a couple of openings that I need to do other things in order to unlock them. So let's make this a two-parter and see if I can push myself just a little bit further. So, yeah, I guess for now, yep, for now, this will be the end of uh, my spooky special part one. So thanks to everybody that were supporting it. We're definitely going to figure this out. Let me just click and save this just in case. And I am Sorcerer Chris, and happy Halloween to ya. Poof, poof, kapoof. See you guys next time. <laughs>